All right guys, so this is attempt number two at making this video. Um, the first attempt got cut off because my mother-in-law needed my help over at her house, which perfectly okay. So here we are. This is going to be just like a mini baby haul. Uh, this is everything that we have bought specifically for baby. Um, so yeah, these are things that obviously we've accumulated this since we have found out that we are pregnant. Um, I will be 15 weeks on Friday the 29th, so yay for second trimester, which I hit last Friday. Um, but there are one of these things, It's it was a gift from Allie Herman, so I'm going to show you that. Um, there are some other things that we have gotten, like we've gotten a couple more packs of diapers or like, um... See, we've got a baby box from the baby box company or baby box university or whatever. It came with a pack of diapers, a little pack of wipes, and the box with the like the mattress in it, which we might use, we might not. Um, I I do I would like to use it a little bit, um, but we'll see how that goes. But that is what everything's been stored in, and then it's been stored in individual bags. So, apologize if you guys can hear that in the background. There are geese flying everywhere because winter is coming in Geese Live Our Crick. And there's, a pretty sure, a football game going on over across the crick. So, just want to apologize if you guys can hear that in the background. But I'm going to go ahead and get into this video and show you guys what we have accumulated thus far that's not all presents most of this stuff is has been bought but this one thing was in the bag and i just figured i'd show it because it was here so um i have received a couple other gifts from other people that okay well two um the one i did an unboxing for i did both unboxings but whatever uh the one just has a lot of more stuff in it so this girl that i've been friends with due to youtube her name is Allie Herman. She has sent me two packages so far. One was a TTC package. It had ovulation kit or tests, um, it had some pregnancy tests, that type of thing. And then she went onto my Amazon baby registry and saw that I had like a nursing cover slash car seat cover. And she recommended the Hakoko brand. This is the one that she sent me. Uh, it's got, it's a gray, it's like a grayish blue kind of color. It depends on what light you look at it. And it's got arrows on it. Um, and it comes with a cute little carrying case that matches the print of the cover and stuff like that. Um, so she bought this because this is roughly like the same one she has. She said it's the same brand. I don't know if it's the same print or whatnot. But um, she said she really likes it. She recommends it. So she bought me one just so that I could have the joys of using this one as well. And... Um, so this one was not on my registry. I had a different one, but she recommended this one more. So she bought me that one. So thank you, Allie. And if you buy gifts off of my Amazon registry, which is linked down below, um, it comes with this. You can leave a little message and um, say hi and stuff like that, that you watch my YouTube and that this is for baby or whatever. And um, I've put this down in the package here you can kind of see it through the backing um, I put it down in there so when I'm sending out thank you cards I can remember who everything's from and I can send out the proper thank you cards so there's that hopefully I don't knock everything over and then we were looking at car seat not car seat covers we were looking at baby carriers and I liked the one that I had but I found this one and I liked it more Sorry, my nose is really itchy tonight. Um, but Tim told me if I sold my other one, then I could get this one. So I did sell the other one. It was brand new. It had never been opened. Like the box was still intact with like the sticky thing like right here. Um, so it was still brand new. I'm sure I could have gotten full retail price for it. But I dropped the price by $5 and I sold it. So... I picked up this one here. It's the Infantino, same brand, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the Cuddle Up Ergonomic Hood, Hoodie Carrier. So uh, this carries 12 to 40 pounds and it's designed for babies and toddlers. 
And you can have them front facing or facing in wide seat, which is like an M and back carrying. And it's got this cute little hood that comes with it. So if I'm baby wearing baby and it's like a hot, not hot, but a sunny day, then I can go ahead and put the hood up and baby's not getting all the um, heat or what would it be called? All of the sun, that's what I'm looking for. So the hood is just Velcroed on and I just, I really liked this one a lot more than the one we had. So I just went ahead and grabbed that. <clears throat> All right, and we'll move on. So half of these things, I don't remember what's all in these bags, but we'll find out together. So I don't know if I've showed these in a vlog or anything before, but these, there's four onesies. There's actually five, but one was a custom made onesie. So we got this one here. It says sweet dreams with a little panda with a little heart. We got this at Walmart. It doesn't say the size. I'm pretty sure it's like the Walmart brand. Um, but it was only like $3 and it is six to nine months. And Hubby actually surprised this one for me. Or surprised me with that one. These ones here I picked out. They are more on the boy side. But this one here I will use regardless. Because how cute is that? It's got this coral colored like fox tie. And again, it is six to nine months, that Walmart brand. It's a gray back, like a gray onesie with this cute little fox tie on it. So I got that, and that one was, again, $3.25. Pretty sure that's what these all were. Nope, okay, so this one here was $3.25. This one is more boy, but I got it because Grandpa... Um, so it says grandpa thinks I'm out of this world. It's a blue with a rocket. So yes, I know it screams boy, but um, I figured it was really cute and we could use it when we go to my dad's house or something like that. This is size three to six month. And then we've got this one. This one, I didn't realize it had the bow tie on it when we got it, but it says cute since day one. It's a darker gray. It is size zero to three months. And this one was only $2. It was actually on sale. It was originally $3.25, but saved $1.25 on it. So it's just this cute little onesie here. And got a pack of baby wipes because baby wipes are life and you can never have enough. So I've got that. This one here, I don't know if I can show you guys because it has our girl name choice on it. I'm gonna see if I can maybe try to show you without showing you the name, but you won't get the whole, I just have to try and cover up the name. But on the back, he did his little signature. It is an airbrushed onesie of, you guessed it, a piggy. So I'm gonna try my best. So it's got like the face, that the pig's like sitting down. Where my hand is, is where the name is. So I don't want to show you guys the complete onesie until we know if it's a girl or not because I don't want the name being stolen. And actually this onesie might not be shown if it's a girl even until we have our name reveal. So um, it was, I think $10 to get this made, which was a really good deal to me. And I just thought it was so cute. It is a Gerber size three to nine months. And honestly, I really hope we have a girl so that we can use that. If not, then we'll just store it away. But then we picked up this really cute gender neutral set. It actually came with this garment bag. Um, it's a three to six month. It was $12.50, but I think we got it on sale. And it's, how many pieces does it have? It says it has... Okay, so it's a seven piece set. It comes with like a padded hanger, a bib, a pair of mitts, a hat, a onesie, a pair of pants, and the garment bag. So um, there's the hat with the little mitts, like the hand scratch mitts. Then you've got the onesie. Um, it's just, the, it's the same print as this. It's really cute, gender neutral elephants. 
And then there's the bib with a neutral elephant and it comes with a pair of gray legging type pants. And yeah, so we got that because it was, this is actually, I think our very first baby purchase um, that we actually purchased since finding out the gender. So I'm really thrilled about that and that it, the fact that it was gender neutral just made everything all that much better. So I'm going to try and keep everything organized as I go through here. So excuse the bags being tied and untied, but oh, I've got an itchy. All right, so next we'll go with this bag. And one thing is actually from... Amazon, we used it, uh, we used Snag Shout for it. <clears throat> and then I got a little onesie from Walmart. So it's just this really cute fleecy, um, fleecy sleeper. It is size six to nine months. It was $7.44. It's got cute little tigers all over it. And then on the feet, they are little tigers. And I've gotten some questions about why we're buying sizes so big, like something like this, this fleecy type onesie so big. And that's because babies do in March. So I, I did the math. So six to nine months. So we will think the end of March. So we'll say April. So April to May, June, July, August, September, October, which is when it starts to get cold here. November, December, January. So it's good for the winter type months. And yeah, so that's why we've been buying these type of things in bigger sizes because this way baby can use them when they're weather appropriate. So this way we're not putting them in a fleecy onesie in the middle of summertime. So gotta take a little drink. I actually had someone ask me why I'm still drinking pop. I'm drinking the caffeine free. So my doctor said that was okay. It's not the best, but it's better than regular pop. So these we bought, we actually got these because of Snag Shout. Um, I'm pretty sure I've talked about the website before. That's actually where we got these lights that are hanging up behind me. Um, Tim got a set because he really liked them and like of the lights. So I ended up creating my own Snag Shout, Shout account to get the second set at the discounted price. They were like $7 or something like that. There's, they're 49 feet and then there's 150 LED lights or something like that. So that was really cool. But he picked these up for baby. They are pretty neutral and really cute. So the first thing it came with was this like Chevron print pacifier holder. And I'm not sure if I'll use this being that I have like the, the lovey. Um, I don't know the actual name for the Dr. Browns. There's like the Wubba Nub, there's the lovey, there's all different kinds of names. But these are actually by Cali Baby. They're baby bandana bibs and it actually shows like the website. So this is what came like they were they're inside of it, if that makes sense. So they're Cali Baby, and they are little bibs. Oh my god. They're so cute, and they're really like fleecy on the inside, which is just super, super soft. And then they just unsnap twice here in the back. Um, I'm sure they come with two snaps, so if you've got a big baby's neck, you can use them for quite a while. Um, but... I just thought that these were super, super cute. And we got a pack of five for like three, no, it was like more like $6, but still that's not bad for that price. So this one's got cute little faxes on it, which is one of the main reasons why he bought them is because this one here was one of my favorites because I love the foxes. Then you've got this one here. It's just a yellow, white, and gray striped one. And I think that was pretty cute. This next one just like screams Amazon to me because you'll see. So it's got like this arrow. And if you kind of turn it, you might get the whole effect. 
So it's got like this colorful end part of the arrow with the actual arrow. But when I saw it, all I saw was that. So that just screamed Amazon to me because of the arrow. I don't know why, but it's a dark gray, almost a brown color. Then we got these ones here with these arrows. It's a yellow with, there's green, black, and like a orange type arrows. And then there is this one here. It's got like X's or pluses or crosses or something. It's a very, very, very pale yellow. Um, it's almost more of an off-white color because of the color, but I don't know if you guys can really tell. It's not white, but it's not yellow. It's like, uh, it's a very, 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 like the lightest, palest yellow that you could get is the color and it's got like gray and black little crosses on it. So I thought that was super, super adorable and I cannot wait to put baby in these. So go ahead and put this stuff back in there. So Tim actually bought those bibs for me. So shout out to him for being freaking awesome. These next two bags, there's one item per bag. Um, you guys might not like the idea, but I did, so I went with it. And I had raved about this. If you guys are on my Facebook group page, you guys will have seen one of these. This was only $8.44. I thought that was a steal for a complete outfit. And <clears throat> it is a girl outfit, but I figured if we don't have a girl that's perfectly okay. This was just too cute to pass up and it's probably not going to be back next year. So we went ahead and bought it. So it's this really cute fall time floral type like pleated, not pleated, but like flared dressy. It's more of a shirt, but comes with a pair of like blue jean type leggings. And on the shirt, it has this little bow we got it in size six to nine months and I just think it is so adorable. My heart melts every time I see this. So I Tim broke down and he told me I could buy it. And I was like, yes, yes. And I was like hugging it. Um, we both have an intuition. It's a girl. So we are almost 100% sure that this will be getting used. We will know for sure in October on the 23rd if baby cooperates. We will know the gender so I just thought this was super cute and even if we don't have a girl this time around we could have a girl next time around and they could still wear this because this is just too cute. So it's got the buttons there's let's see one two three yes there's three buttons at the back of the shirt to help baby get or to help you get baby in and out of it. So there's that this here still has the receipt with it. That I was not returning regardless because I just, I, I needed it in my life. So this one, we still have the receipt for just in case we do return it. And we've just kept it in the bag and keep the bags tied. So there was one day I was not feeling good at all. Tim went into Walmart. Um, he had to grab, he bought me some razors because I needed razors and he had to get something else. I don't remember what else it was. And then he got me pizza rolls because I had been craving pizza rolls, which those sound so good right now. Anyways, um, then he told me he was just going to look around a little bit more and he'd be out in a couple of minutes. And I said, okay, I figured he was just going to look around because he has a couple warts. So I figured he was going to take a look at that stuff and that type of thing. So yeah, he actually came out and surprised me with baby clothes. These are Child of Mine made by Carter's. There's three bodysuits. They are size 6 to 12 months, which is just a little weird to me for range, but they're so cute. So we've got this pink one here. It's, I don't know if you guys can see. There you go. It's got gold glitter polka dots. It says Daddy's Little Princess. So that came with it. Then you get this other one, it's just white and it has like unicorns, the princess, the castle, little stars. Um, is there anything else on it? Unicorn, princess, castle, stars. 
nope, that's pretty much it. So it's just this really princessy onesie. And so that came with the set. And then there's this one here. It's just a gray. Uh, the sleeves have little like ruffles. I don't know if you guys can see that. It has little ruffles. It has like this scalloped edge with the pink like right here. And it says the princess has arrived. So oh, I just thought it was super cute and I was just having a bad day that day and he came out and surprised these with me or surprised me with these and I seriously just started bawling my eyes out because I just I couldn't believe it. He actually this is the very first thing he's actually gone into the store, looked at and purchased. Um, everything else that we've gotten I've bought besides those bibs but he ordered those online so he didn't really get to experience looking through baby stuff. Um, that's more my alley but yeah so once we find out the gender we will probably be going to Once Upon a Child. It is a secondhand baby store but the clothes are like brand new and the prices are so good. Um, so we went up for my sister-in-law for her, or for my nephew, her son, <clears throat> and they had a gift card. It was like for $40, I think. And they told us, she sent me wild in there and told me to buy stuff for her son, Crixis, and that I could get one or two things for myself as well. I left there with two things for myself, but a majority of it went to him and it was... It was a really good deal. We walked out of there with a big old bag full. There was actually, I think, two bags full. And we've got, we got so many outfits for $40 and that type of thing. So it was just a really, really good deal. Some of the things still had tags on them. But yeah, so I personally like that store. I told Tim that once we find out the gender, we will have to go and gander through and make a day of it up in Erie, just go out on a little date day, go to the baby stores, pick up a few things, stop at Once Upon a Child, um, grab some gender related things there and just go out to eat and yeah, just make a day of it and enjoy each other while we still have just each other. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's it for everything else that we have accumulated for babies since finding out. Um, like I said, I will be 15 weeks tomorrow and that will be September 29th. So you guys will be seeing this a couple of days later because I have three, no, two or three, I can't remember, it's either two or three previous videos that I have filmed that I want to get up to you guys. And yeah, so oh, that's, that's, I think that's pretty much it. We have, like I've said, we've bought some other baby wipes and, um, We've got two packs of diapers. I had coupons for them, so made them only $5 a piece instead. Because, okay, I got a pretty good deal to me. They were originally $8.50. The store was having a sale on them, and it dropped them down to $7.50. Right? No, $7. So you saved $1.50 in store, and then I had coupons for $2 off. So that brought them down to $5 a piece, like for the bags. And I picked up a size one and a size two. I'm pretty sure those are the sizes I picked up. Um, so I just thought that was a pretty good deal. I mean, I saved $3.50, but altogether I saved $7. So I just went ahead and picked them up because I had coupons and I wasn't gonna let them go to waste. So, um, I just want to thank Allie Herman again so much for your Hokoko um, car seat cover slash nursing cover. And Mariah Burton, if you are watching this, thank you again so much for everything that you sent me. If you guys didn't know, she sent me a big old box with um, girl clothes, boy clothes, um, different types of samples, uh, stuff like that. So it was really nice of her. It was a big old, big old box. And it also came with the fetal Doppler that I purchased off of her. And that thing, it's a lifesaver. So the other day I was having some cramping and I just, I wasn't feeling all that well. 
I was at the ER because I was having breathing problems. I still am a little bit, which is why I sound kind of raspy sometimes. But so we were, I was just having a rough time because they were putting medicines into me that I didn't know if they were pregnancy safe. I didn't know if they would affect the baby um, or anything like that. So I was just having a bad day. And that night we came home. We looked for about 10 minutes. We couldn't find it. But I told Tim, I was like, that's fine. We just, we, I know we can't find it every time that we listen. Um, so, ugh, mouth is so dry. But I was like, I know we can't find it every time we listen until I'm a little further along that it'll be easier. But um, I went to bed that night. I was a little sad that we didn't get to hear it because of everything that had gone on the last couple of days. And... I think he knew as well as I did that everything was okay, but he knew that I was feeling sad about it a little bit. So um, I don't let the Doppler stress me out because I don't want to put that type of stress on my body and end up hurting baby just because I can't find the heartbeat right away. So last night, Tim's like, Peanut, I want to find you. I want to listen to you. So... He got the Doppler out and we we used it and we did find her for a good about a minute solid and then she moved and then we lost the heartbeat. Um, but I mean, my OB said that that was normal. Babies move, they reposition and make it harder to find. And with me being a bigger girl, she can burrow down in or back in my belly a little bit more and make it harder to hear with our Doppler. So... I was, it was very relieving to hear her heartbeat last night. I don't know why I keep saying that. I keep saying her heartbeat, her, she. Um, I just keep using all the girl pronouns. I think they're pronouns, are they? If I'm wrong, correct me, but I'm pretty sure they're pronouns. But I just, I keep using those and we don't know if baby's a girl yet. We don't know if baby's a boy. We just, we both have strong intuitions as her the baby girl clothes um but yeah so that's everything that we have and the three pack set that I showed you guys um if we don't have a girl we will be returning these it's just that fall time set we will be keeping regardless so yeah that is everything for this video I hope you guys enjoyed give this video a big thumbs up because it would make me super duper happy to see those likes and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more baby hauls, bump dates, um, just anything baby related. And be sure to leave any comments or questions down below. I would love to chat with you guys. I always reply to comments. So I look forward to hearing from you guys and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.